Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to part 26 of our Total War Three Kingdoms Hong Rong Let's Play on Legendary Difficulty. We are uh, battling it out in the north against Gong Sun Zan and Guan Tan and then um, a couple other factions, but those are the those are the main ones that we're fighting. So what I'm kind of thinking I want to discuss this a little bit last time is that uh, we come up here and take um, Peng Yuan and um, and then we sue for peace with Gong Soon Zan. I think is what I want to do. Um, that way, um, that way we can focus our efforts against uh, Yuan Tan. Uh, now the thing is, though, we. I don't know. I feel like we're strong enough to take on both of them at the same time. But um, take a look at uh, diplomatic. Yeah, this is a yeah. Maybe we just focus on these guys for now. It's uh yeah. Well, we'll see how things go here. Um, in the meantime, we got a few a few things to uh, take care of here. Um, Base 36. Alright, yeah, that's fine. Got nothing there for you. And that's fine as well. Alright, what are we going to level you up with? Uh, more authority. Um, battle running speed for his own retinue. That actually, um, that actually would be quite good. Uh, more resolve. More replenishment. Not bad. Plus 8 instinct. Fire authority. Fire arrows. We don't really need that. I think I'm gonna go with uh Oh yeah. Let's let's go with this. And then we can uh we can get this as well. Instinct gives more melee damage, and then that plus twenty-five charge bonus would be pretty solid for him as well. So that uh that looks pretty good. Uh actually uh, let's just quickly go through some of this and see if there's yeah, there is um Let's equip you with that. All right, that's fine. Good. Um, all right, yeah, yeah, that looks good. It's the same armor. Um, you, yeah, I wanted to upgrade your armor as well. Let's equip you with this. And sword-wise, yeah, we'll keep you with that. All right, looking good. There's nothing. Yeah, we'll keep you with that. Satisfaction seems fine for now. All right. All right. I think uh, I think we got everybody uh, everybody suited up pretty good. Um, actually, okay. Help you with that. Alright, looks good, looks good. Our spy. Characters at court. Um. Uh, Alright. Looks good. Um, assignments. Alright, nine turns left on that. Wouldn't be bad to get, um, some more assignments. All right, so um, yeah, these guys are attacking us here. Actually, let's uh, take a look at the diplomacy. I think Sao Sao, uh, we can get um, we can start trading off our food trade for him again because uh, he's got pitiful, pitiful situation for food. Let's uh, bump this down though. We don't want to give him quite that much. Uh, the thing is though, too, um, I just noticed this. The imperial favor. We're actually because we have a food surplus. We're actually gaining um, Imperial Favor, albeit slowly, but I mean, that's good to know, so... I don't want to give uh, Sao Sao too much here. Let's, uh, let's go with 10. And request regular... Oh. 
request regular payments here, see how much we can get from him. Let's try uh, 1500. Fourteen seventy five, fourteen fifty, fourteen twenty five. All right, there we go. That looks good. All right, yeah, tent food. We'll still have, still have uh, quite a bit of food. And um, that's a nice chunk of cha cash. And hopefully this agreement will keep him from declaring war on us. Um, we can't... Um, doesn't want... Non-aggression, unfortunately. Trade in there. We could trade a territory. But uh, I don't want to do that, obviously. All right, so that gives us almost almost in the green. Um, we're in the red because um, these guys are blocking our trade here. Um, yeah, all right. So that didn't change how much we're getting for our surplus there. So we're still getting plus two surplus. Which is good. All right. All right, yeah. So <clears throat> let's push forward with uh, with Kong Rong here, and and this dude as well. At full strength, um, yeah. Just pull ahead of him. The thing is, uh, I'm just wondering how this will work when we attack this guy because I don't think this army will actually be supporting him when we position our armies over here actually let me spin the camera around here albeit incredibly slowly um so when we sally out to attack this guy when we position our armies here and we, we uh, fight this guy I don't think this army is going to um going to reinforce so what we'll want to do is we'll want to make sure we'll want to make sure that we have enough movement to catch up to these guys after that so we'll probably we won't want to make the attack with Kong wrong we'll want to sally out with the with the garrison uh, the garrison has one more turn I think before they start taking attrition so they're okay um, yeah, and sally out with the garrison because I don't think they'll stand and fight. Unless, of course, these guys are uh, reinforcing, in which case they, they most likely will stand and fight. We'll have a uh, a big, bloody battle on our hands. But um, hopefully the garrison pushes them in this direction. Oh, shit. No, this is, this is, the, uh, this is the force that's actually... This is the force that is actually making the siege. Damn. Alright. Alright, well... That means she may stand and fight, actually. Um, which works out for us. Um, Alright, well, we'll see what happens next turn. Anyway. Um, we could... But yeah, definitely we want to deal with these two armies separately. And let's have you move down this way so getting a little bit of replenishment here um gosh. That was a... I do want to upgrade this because we want to get the walls here a little bit risky because we're our cash flow is so low right now but I think we should be all right but yeah we're gonna hit the uh we're gonna hit this next we're gonna start moving down this way but yeah this is their main this is the bulk of their army we can defeat these two armies and we shouldn't have too much trouble dealing with the rest of their territory. All right, and you guys, you guys cross the river here. Oh, 
Right, should be, yeah, should be protecting one another. Yeah, so these guys... Uh, good thing is they're in Force March, so they're not getting replenishment. They're not in great shape. And then they've got... Um, decent sized garrison there, but um, we should... Um, we should be strong enough to take them on. I'm hoping anyway. Salt mine. Alright, good stuff. Let me just check if... Um, some of these other factions that we're at war with, just see if anybody would be up for. Yeah, see if we get peace with Gong Tun Zan, I think we get peace with the two of them as well. I'd love to get peace with uh, Xi Jinping because Xi Shangping, rather. Um, yeah, because. Uh, She's way the hell over here. Though, I mean, because of that, we probably... Probably won't see too much of her. Wang Lang. There she is, there. Ooh, she could be moving towards, uh... Could be moving towards this. Hmm. What province is this? How much are we making here? Yeah, that's what it looks like. It looks like she's headed towards that. Um, Hong Nong. Let me just see if... Um, it's interesting that her vassals didn't go to war with us. Uh, which province is it? Ah, uh, here it is, here. Yeah, so if we offered food, but yeah, we would have to give up a shit ton. But uh, the thing is, we might lose this anyway. We don't really have any way of, um, of defending it. Yeah, I think that's all we're going to be able to do this turn. Um, just double check the court. Everything is fine here. Be nice to put somebody in as prime minister. Family tree, age six. Okay, in there. All right, three kids. That's not bad. Each until Kong Rong's getting old. Five. All right. Yeah. So attack this. Attack this and attack these guys. So we got lots of uh, lots of potential fights next turn, and then hopefully we can negotiate peace with uh, with Gong Tun Zan. Uh, I'm pretty sure Gong Tun Zan uh, wants peace with us. So we've we've smashed it pretty good. The only problem with that is, you know, I've said it before, is that you know you get peace with these factions and then. And then they, um, oh, look at this. Oh, so they've, okay, this is interesting. Very interesting. Um, gives them an opportunity to, uh, build up their forces. Uh, the only thing that's kind of shit here is that they're attacking this dude, and that means that we don't get to set these guys up, but, um, numbers-wise, they're slightly, uh, they've got slightly better numbers than us. Hmm. Is a little bit worrisome, but I think um, I think we'll be all right. Close to feet, it's predicting it. Yeah, that we're a little bit outnumbered here. But our cavalry, our cavalry should be stronger than theirs. It's hard to say. They've got, mm, yeah, they're, they're maybe not as beat up as um, I'd like them to be. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. Worst case scenario, we can make a make a strategic withdrawal, and um, and then finish them off next turn. But I I don't know. I think we can uh, I think we can handle this. 
Um, our reinforcements come in here. All right, yeah. So we'll probably. Oh, this is. This seems like a good area to set up. So let's. Uh, set this up here. Guys. I was gonna hide them in the forest over there. But um, I think we just um, get set up where our reinforcements are coming in. Provide them with a little bit of a uh, little bit of backup while they get set up. sign of the enemy yet. Definitely need to get these artillery pieces into position. Alright, where are these guys? They're attacking us as well, so... We got a tower up there, look at that. Yeah, they're attacking us, so they've got to come to us. Good. Glad we have that. Alright, looks like we're going to get our artillery in place. Could fall right back into the corner. But I don't think, uh, I don't think it's necessarily, I think it's necessary. And we could, it wouldn't be bad to push up to this stuff. Though we've got uh, a little bit of backup from our, uh, our tower there. I mean, the tower's, the tower's going to do a little bit of damage. Still no sign of the enemy. Probably they're um, getting their reinforcements together, is what I would guess. China will revel in your death. A little, uh, a little morbid. No sign. None of these boys. Yeah, we're gonna have to really rely on our cavalry here to uh, to carry the day. We can shut down their cavalry and. Um, Shut down their archers. That's what we really need to be able to do. That cab into position, or that artillery into position. Still no sign. Uh, we could go scout a little bit here. Um, I want to send everybody. We'll send one of these units to scout. Get an idea where they are. A feeling that they're up on this hill and that we can't can't see them there. Back up a little bit. A 
bit. Alright, yeah, there they are. Want to be careful with our scout here. Oh, there's more of them. Alright, yeah, here they come. Here they come. Yeah, it's a big force. It is a big force, fuck. Change our formation a little bit here. Why aren't these guys moving? What the fuck? Okay, there we go. A little bit of delay on some of them there. Alright. You guys come out and defend this flank. You guys stay over here on this flank. Should our calf is big enough that we should be able to split it up like this. We should, uh... And we wait. Yeah, see, the, I don't know, the, the formations, I would use more, but, like, see, it creates these gaps in our line. Like, look at that. Like, you know, like, how is that going to be useful? Um, unless we just, you know, really condense our archers. Um, I don't know. Just doesn't seem, uh, doesn't seem entirely practical. Shield wall. Yeah. Plus, minus 20% melee attack rate. Yeah, I mean, this gives the charge resistance and the block chance. But the thing is, once you put them in turtle formation, the they won't shoot at you. Um, so it just... Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't seem overly, uh, overly useful. Alright, let's hope our artillery gets a bit of work done here. As they make their way over here. And the cap doesn't look too strong. Oh, I don't know. I, I, this is probably not all of them. I think I'm a little bit worried about is our front line might not be able to, uh, might not hold necessarily. over there. Kind of have to try and get to their archers. Got a lot of archers. Almost in range. I don't see... I don't. I only see the one general. I don't know where their other... General's bodyguards. I know when we were scouting, one of them was uh, back by the tower there. I need to wear down this uh, this cab a little bit. Should bomb in there, yeah. So they got some cab in behind there. Mounted. I'm a little nervous. Not gonna lie. a little bit there. Alright, yeah, so we've got... They're bringing the cab up at the rear there. Alright, let's go get them. Let's see if we can distract some of these guys and maybe get to these guys. We 
into that. Get into that. I don't know. Like, I don't like how this is going here so far. Kind of. All right, let's pull back. Pull back with you guys. You guys, pull back as well. Get out of there. It's fucking uh, so many archers. Get into this blob here. Yeah, I'm feeling the feeling the numbers here. Come on, pull back, pull back. Draw them over this way. their fucking range units. Uh, ah, shit, we don't have any fire arrows here. Anybody have fire arrows? Fuck no. Back, back up, back up, back up. I don't want to get involved with... Actually, go, go, go. I want to get involved with those spears. Problem. A little bit. Come on, go, 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 go. Get you guys to some work done here. Cav is actually giving us quite a bit of problems. You guys, you guys get over here. Come on, go, go, go. Get out of there. You guys to help support these dudes. And we might have to send you over to help out as well. A little bit, a little bit dicey, but yeah, let's, let's get over here. And if we can get into this bunch, see if we can shut down the two of you. And... I have to put you in behind there. Smash them. Guys, shoot at this bunch. I have to put your formation there. Got a major engagement up here. Oh. Alright, you're gonna have to get into the fight. It's gonna be a serious battle here. Get into there. Alright, just stay in formation. Alright, let's push through here. Get out of there. See if we can link up our cavalry and uh, use them together. Gotta shut him down. Alright, our line is holding pretty good. Um, let's shut down those archers. Let's shoot into there. Fuck, we're... Line is breaking a little bit. Alright. Smash into these guys. Alright, we got our... Cavalry together, so I think they should be should be uh, quite formidable now. We can get to some of their generals. Guys, shoot at those archers. Break some of these good good these guys are. A lot of them are running. at them. You guys shoot at them. Here. 
Oh man, what a what a mess. What a freaking mess. You can target her. What we need is get through here to get back to some of their cav I think we've almost got them. Uh, if we can get to some of their range units back here, I think we're in the clear. Alright, there we go. They're starting to break. Battle her. But where are you going? I'm gonna run and shoot into there. Alright, catch them. Fuck. Mounted Lancers. Actually, you catch them and you help this dude with the, those guys. All right, looking good, looking good. I think we've got them. If you can catch them. What are you guys doing here? Go back. The spears handle it. Yeah, we took a fair bit of damage, but um, yeah, I think we we smashed them pretty good. Was uh, I was a little bit, not gonna lie, I was a little bit, uh, a little bit nervous there for a little while. Um, didn't think we were gonna necessarily pull it through. Catch them. Try and run some of them down here because we've got. Uh, oh, we're not gonna catch them. Um, we, we've got to follow up and take them on next turn. See if we can catch them. Uh, is there anybody in position that could, uh, you could potentially catch them? Yeah, just try and uh, really, really wipe them out so we have an easy, easy win to take their uh, their settlement. All right, we can probably uh, speed this along a little bit. Catch them. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the result. is that over there? The militia. I've got some more dudes over here. Yeah, could have definitely... Could have definitely gone differently. Um... But yeah, once we capture this salt mine, we'll sue for peace with Gong Soon Zan, and that'll give this army a little bit of time to uh, to replenish. Oh my god, they just keep coming. Not very effective in the woods here, running them down. That's how it seems. Fuck me sideways, dude. Alright, 
Let's catch these guys. Got most of those. Be able to take care of those. But yeah, I was worried. I was worried the spears wouldn't hold, but they held. Haven't let us down yet, and um, yeah, having the cavalry advantage really, really helped carry the battle there. Especially our two champions. Right, I think that's probably probably good enough. Decisive victory from close to close defeat to, to decisive victory. Not bad. Jing则怀中，未则怀乱，不治民则民怨怒，民怨怒则必生乱。主公御下必先弹压乱贼，以警不臣之心，方可治之。今日此胜，乃臣天君之责。Yeah, four to one, four to one casualties. I will uh, definitely take that. These guys won't be in, uh, won't be in great shape after this. Um, we'll release him. Uh, for the cash, and we'll release her for the cash as well because we're we're gonna catch up to them next turn anyway. I think in this instance, I'm gonna take the replenishment because we're in enemy territory. Well, the cash is pretty good, but yeah, we'll take the um, take the replenishment. Oh, look at this. Looks like they uh, they break off the siege. I think they may have broken off the siege there. That's very interesting. Lang Lang, where are you headed, man? In war. Okay. All right. Um, let me take a look here. Yeah, it looks like she's going for this, but it's hard to say. I don't know. She kind of um, has sailed past it. Yeah. Could potentially get peace with her. But anyway, let's... Uh, Take a look at what we got going on here, closer to home. Somebody's leveled up. Character at court. Be nice if we could get him in ancillary. But uh, anyway, all right. So he's at court, academic. Um, what do we got? Um, does cunning help at all? Military? No, it doesn't really help for... Yeah, there's nothing nothing really here that's going to help his, uh, his assignment. Maybe moving down this direction. This gives additional food. All right, yeah. So let's let's get this one. Some of the, 
some of this stuff at the bottom here um, would improve uh, improve the situation. All right, yes. Yeah, so they have taken off. Um, I don't want to get to there, uh, which is good. Um, cash is coming in. This dude is a general. I'm guessing he must want a higher court position. Yeah. Higher court position. We've already got a pretty good uh, pretty good item there. Um, Did they disband that army? That's interesting. Ah, oh, shit, that's not what I want to do. Want to... Oh, damn it, what the hell is happening here? What the shit? Oh my god, you gotta be shitting me. I don't know what happened there. Uh, something was a little bit buggy with the uh, clicking and whatnot. I wanted to put this army into encampment stance, um, but anyway, we can uh, we can delegate this one. There, I think they're worn down enough that uh, should be fine. We ought to resolve this. Uh, only lost one Imperial favor, that's not too bad. Imperial favor 46. Alright, uh, getting some replenishment. Uh, so that's where their army headed to, okay. Got you. Not sad, uh, they're not too happy. Um, Alright, good. All right, so let's uh, let's see if Gong Sun Zan will take peace now. Um, forty point two. So that's um, that is pretty pretty sweet. Um, we try and trade for some territory, but I think we'll just ask for. <laughs> Not gonna become our vassal. I think we'll just ask for um for some cash. I think we'll be able to get quite a bit of cash here from him. Uh which will allow us to get some uh some actual building done, maybe save up a little bit of a reserve. Look at that. There we go, 2140 of the peace agreement. So we'll take that. We, um, the war with Gong Sun Zan, uh, we gained a little bit of territory. We gained three, three, um, we gained, we regained this, scored this. So we, we gained three settlements, and for 10 turns, we're going to be getting 2,000 gold. So about 20,000 gold from him. So that should really, should really, um, Hurt him. Um, take a look now. Diplomacy. Yeah. So we're no longer at war with uh, with these guys as well. Enemies vassal. So. Yeah. See, I have a feeling she's gonna come and take this. Now the thing is, how much is this settlement worth to us? Try and get peace with her. That would allow us to focus on Yuan Tan, but I don't like uh, I don't like the situation that uh, that we've got here. So we've got this army, and these guys. Hmm. Right, let's put you in here and. 
Let's move you to there. Yeah, so you're still in range of the uh, the garrison here. Um, yeah, we'll repair this stuff. Might as well. Good for cash. We've got quite a bit of cash coming in. Yeah, so I'm just wondering if we should scoop this up. If we should, if we should take this or if it's too much of a risk right now. Decent sized garrison. And then it looks like these armies are making their way back there. Though this army this army can reach it. Uh, stance in full, though they're on full speed. It's risky. It's risky to take it. Why are the supplies going down? Climate. Oh, climate. Action support casualty. Yeah, I wanted to go into in camps anyway. Not a big deal. Won't be winner next turn. More turns on that. Yeah, we want to get him over there. All right, yeah, let's go for it. Let's uh, let's take this settlement. We want to. Oh shit! 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 I forgot. You know what? I forgot to do. Is I forgot to switch these two artillery pieces. We want a little bit of artillery in the army, and unfortunately, they're not going to be at full strength. Um, yeah. So this army should be be able to reach us. I don't think this army can reach us. I don't know where she's gonna head. Maybe we should just wait here and see what they do and we'll wait for reinforcements. So if we take this, we're, we're really gonna be crippling their food supply. You wanna scoop this up as well. God, I can't decide. I'm just worried that this army might be able to somehow reach there. If they, they attack us with both armies, we're fucked. Not to mention, this army, you know what, let's let's play it safe. Um, I'm going to stand here and go into encampment stance. Um, yeah. Go into encampment stance just to be on the safe side. We'll wait for reinforcements there. Um... Yeah, but well, that's how we'll play it. Um, it would be nice to capture that territory, but play it cautiously and try not to uh, try not to risk the army because it's a really important army. Uh, just risk reward. I think it's um, we'll just play it prudently and wait for Kong Rong to support. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if we the the shitty thing is when they're out on the river is we can only auto resolve those battles and they'll have the advantage on us in auto resolve. So it's um yeah, while they're out out to sea, it's really, there's really nothing we can uh but that. But yeah, the situation with you really would like to get peace. The only way we can really get peace is if we trade that territory. And even still... Even still, it's not... Uh, to trade some food.
and give her some regular payments. How much cash does she have? She's very poor. So there we go. If we get five food for 10 turns, 130 gold, and we give up this territory, then we can get peace with her. And the thing is, the probability of us losing this territory anyway is really high. So why not, why not trade it for peace? And then that, that allows us to focus primarily on um, attitude. We're not, <laughs> we're not well liked here in the north. <laughs> um, diplomacy. Yeah, so we can we can completely focus on UN Tan, finish him off, and then um, and then potentially go back to war with Gong Tun Zan or who, whomever. God, man, we, we've been playing this game for a while, and we've only got a little bit of territory. It's been it's been a real slog. I mean, taking on the AI is um, no uh, no easy feat for sure. Like, um. I do want to see here if uh, the girl, where is she? Duchy of Wu. Look at this. Look at the territory she's got. Us superior. Negotiate. Let's see if we can. Uh... Yeah, it's too bad we can't negotiate. Do. Uh... Get her in there, but yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, just briefly, let's check our uh, see what our spy is up to. So he's got 100 out of 100, so we've got some um, manipulate the faction's trades effort, they're increasing your own trade power. All right, spy build undercover network. Credit. Um, you know, I think I'm just gonna leave it for now. Um, only thing that uh, empower trade probably wouldn't be a bad thing, but I don't wanna. I don't wanna do anything that's going to um, going to upset uh, Sao Sao because if Sao Sao were to declare war on us, it would create a bit of a uh, bit of a bad situation for us but yeah he actually he's actually friendly towards us most of the folks in the south neutral neutral but uh anyway all right so we're still making a decent amount of money i don't want to spend any more just now um same thing same reason why we want to build up our cash our reserves uh just in case uh these trade areas get uh get taken out actually just Quickly, let's let me see if there's no, there's no uh, nobody we can get trade with right now. All right, yeah, let's get uh, non-aggression with Wang Lang here. Um, anybody else that we could get non-aggression with? Mm. All right, yeah, it's not a, not a priority. All right, I think we're going to end the turn. Lu Bei is on the move. He's, uh, he's done really well in this campaign. I'm quite the force. Glad, uh, glad that we were able, able to uh, ally up with him. <laughs> uh, all right, I wasn't uh, wasn't expecting this necessarily, but he should be out of their range, hopefully. Is 
But uh, yeah, they've unfortunately been able to link up their armies there, um, which is bad news for us. Um, I think Kong Rong will be pretty safe inside the fortress there. But uh, it's going to make for a little bit of a tricky situation here. Yeah, I was worried about them taking out the army on the other side of the river. I wasn't uh, necessarily worried about them on this side of the river. Though the thing is, here's the thing. How is it, how is it that they've um, got no problem with supplies? You would think that, because um, they, they've been away, they've been out of their own territory. With the exception of this army, this army was on, on their own territory there last time. But yeah, we can't um we can't really attack. I mean, we could attack them. But it would be a um mm, it would be a massive fight. We bring um if we bring these guys over. If we bring these guys over and I mean it would be fairly evenly matched. But uh yeah, that could be that could be a tough one. I don't know. I don't know, but in the meantime... Yeah, this is completely open to us now. Specialties medium. Alright, let's do it. We'll fight one last battle. Call it a day. But yeah, I think... I don't know, I'm not sure, Kong Rong, if we should um, just play it passively there, because their armies, the longer they're in our territory, the worse it's going to be for them, and we're pretty safe inside the fortress. Plus, we've got more reinforcements coming now that the, um, the war with... Um, the war with Gong Sun Zan has uh, finished up. All right, where do we want to set up here? Um, I don't think we want to fight on this side. I think what we want to do is fight in behind this stuff here because as they um, as they make their way over this stuff, it should slow them down quite a bit. what I'm kind of thinking. We don't have much uh, much for archer support now. But, uh... It's going to be in the middle. Oh. Um. this way. Guys, stand over here. Oh shit, I forgot to deploy one of the cab. Uh, Again, there's little houses that are kind of in the way of our formation there. Alright, just position there.
All right, should be in range of our artillery. Looks like they're not coming around this way. Where are you guys out to there? That's in the middle here. Well, maybe they are coming around this way. The artillery picked their own shots. This is good, they're splitting up their forces. archers. The archers are going to be what's going to do the most damage to us here. It looks like... Let's go straight for them. Guys, come around this way. I'll let the two of them deal with those uh, dudes. Making pretty quick work of them for the most part. Get into that fight as well. Come on, keep moving. I need you over here. What are you doing? What happened there? Let's bomb them. A bit of G infantry over here. Up and out. Alright, get over here. Should break pretty quick. Alright, looking good, looking good. Can hit them. You guys are mostly breaking. Yeah, just make sure they don't come back. Let's uh, let's get these archers up in a better position. We can uh, maybe shoot at these guys. Let's try and make sure these guys don't don't rally here. And uh, shatter them. In the meantime, we just uh, shoot up these dudes. Yeah, this uh, this little uh, pond here, getting them to break up their forces, really worked out well for us. back. No need to go into combat here, just let the uh, let the archers finish them off. If we have charge, we'll probably break them, but anyway. Here we go. Not necessary. Yeah, this army could probably use some more archers. But, I mean, that worked out pretty well. Look at that, 369 kills. 446 kills, holy sh sugar. 
正义必胜。我等应设宴庆贺。Watch Imperial favor to be lose. Eight. Eight. All right. Can get through this. There we go. Yeah, our imperial favor is continuing uh, to uh, to sink. Not not helping our situation here with our uh, dudes. But um, yeah, I think this is where we're gonna leave it for now. We leveled up. Um, yeah, so we've got their main force here. We could attack it. Uh, with Kong Rong, this dude, and the garrison, which would be a, it would be an evenly matched battle, numerically. But could we take them? They've got, they would have the, um, they would definitely have the uh, the cavalry cavalry advantage. What uh, what do we have for cavalry in here? Uh, though actually maybe maybe not as much as you might think. Ah, uh, you know what? We, you know what? Actually, we would probably have the cavalry advantage. Now I think about it, and I might actually, could actually recruit a couple of more, a couple of more dudes, uh, just give us a little bit uh, to bolster our forces a little bit. Um, but it would, it would definitely be a tough battle. I'm not entirely sure. He should be. He should be within range. I don't know. Um, I mean, the thing is, should we risk it when we've got? potential reinforcements coming over this way uh, the longer we have these guys over here delayed they can't they can't attack her right now and uh, oh my gosh level 10 settlement that's crazy very small garrison they've got a small force here protecting this yeah you know what I think I'm, I think I'm gonna give it a crack I think I'm gonna give it a try but um, that'll be next time guys um, potentially kick things off with a massive fight um, that will basically decide the fate of this war. But uh, anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Have yourselves a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Ragnarok out.